Hi, welcome to Dab Blocks. In this video, we will build a React application to connect to the RingB testnet and transfer ERC20 tokens from one account to other. If you are new on the channel, my name is Himmat. Here we learn all fundamental concepts and practical development of blockchain technologies. So if this is something helpful to you, then press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Let's get started. Prerequisites First, Node.js. You can download and install Node.js from nodejs.org. Second, Infura. Sign up to the infura.io and get the HTTP RPC URL. If you don't know how to get a Infura HTTP URL and how to connect a React application to the testnet, then I would highly recommend to watch my previous video. ERC20 token is Ethereum based token and must follow same standards or list of rules. Let's first clone the React project. You can clone this project. You can find git repository link in the description below. You can copy this link and write git clone and then HTTP URL and then your folder name. I have already done this, so I am skipping this step. Now you need to go to that folder, cd. Now you need to run the npm install. npm install, this will install all the packages from the package.json. You can see the package.json and these these many libraries that will install and it will create the node body folders i'm skipping this step as well because i already completed this then npm start this will launch our application into the browser it will take some time This was our application to transfer Ether from one account to another account. It has the same two address whom we need to transfer the Ether. Then the amount and we have one send button. If you go to the main dot component, you can see we have this account private key and HTTP URL from .env. This is an example from the Ganache. Now we are connecting to the testnet. So I have already created the .env file. I have used RPC HTTP URL from Infra. Then we have this transfer function. We just need to copy this send to. We need to add one more field, which is token address. We need to specify the token address, which token we need to transfer to the other account. Then uh, write the token address. Here you need to change the method. Let's call this set token address. Then we need to set a variable for this. constant token address set token address equal to u state so if you see here token address is added okay Send to is there, amount is there, okay. Ether, you need to change this ether to tokens. Just go to that field and change this to tokens because we are sending the tokens now. Tokens, this is okay. Tokens, okay. 
Now we need to write the code to transfer the tokens. For so for that we need a token. So if you see here, I have created one token for us that is that blocks token. You can create your own token. How to de develop and deploy the smart contract. You will see when we start learning the solidity programming. From here we need the API. So uh, you can copy this from here contract API and you can create a variable. constant ABI equal to and you can copy this JSON dot pass and paste the entire stuff it is okay and this is the get ABI get ABI get contract ABI now we have the ABI. Now we need to create the token contract. So for that, write constant token contract equal to create token contract. Okay, create token contract. And new. F3 dot ETH dot contract and we need to pass the two par two parameters first one is ABI and second one is token address so this token address will get this from the this set token address and this is from he from here we can get the token address from this here okay so now we need to create a data for the transaction so create transaction data constant data equal to token contracts dot methods dot transfer so we need to call this erc20 transfer method to transfer tokens from one account to another account so here we need to pass two parameters one is receiver address whom we will be transferring the tokens and then the value we what amount we are transferring and the transfer amount So value and then we need to encode this so encode a abi encode abi and this is the method okay you can save this we need to change some fields in the transaction so this should be the token address you can copy this token address You can copy this token address and paste it token address then value so this should be zero so you can write the in hex hexadecimal zero, zero, zero. okay so this value is only used for transferring ether from one account to a other account else it should be zero yeah, a gas limit and gas price is okay. Nounce is also okay. So nouns you can get it from the transition count. Get transition count. Then you need to add the data. So add another field. Then add the data. Data. And then data. 
okay so this data has the transfer method with the values that is the receiver address and the amount to to be transferred so this is done you can save this file go to the ui here we need the token address and send to yes go to the contact page and you can copy this contact else if you want to see the token page then you can click on this token so token address contract you can copy this contract so copy the token address here here send to whom we need to send this to send the tokens so just copy this this address so you can copy any address so to, to whom you need to transfer the tokens and then number of tokens the amount token amount you need to transfer so once you enter all this detail then just click on send so if you see here as soon as we click on send it it will create a transaction hash so you can copy this transaction hash and search it over here so it's in pending state we already seen depending on the gas price and congestion in the network it will take some time to add the transaction into the blockchain and miners will add that transaction into the block and that block into the blockchain if you want to know more about ethereum gas and its impact on the transaction uh, you can watch my previous video on the ethereum gas so if you see a transaction uh, got added to this particular block so it will take a uh, few seconds to reflect yeah it successfully added to the block if you see success message is there this is the block number and this is the from which wallet we have transferred this is the contract address and if you see it 50 dai blocks 50 dai blocks tokens have been transferred this is the contract address as a token address and this is the two address so 50 dai blocks tokens transferred to this particular address you can see other details value is zero as we are not sending any ether and this is the gas price if you go down you can see here the transfer method is there and there are two parameters two uh, receiver and the value you can also also check the decode input data so it's taking time so don't, let's go back so so this is how you can transfer your ERC20 token from one account to other account. We'll see more Web3 functions and other use cases in our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.